Alright guys, today we're going to be looking at all 10 Rookie Premier players, and before we get into that though, let's go ahead and do comment today coming in from Preston Samuel, who actually corrected me on the last video, and honestly guys, I have no issue when you correct me, as long as you do it respectfully, I have no issue, and he was actually correct. So in my video, my Gauntlet video, I thought all 5 of the elites of Gauntlet players you got for free, that's not true, it's only a choice of 1, so you get 1 of the 5 elites, and of course I wasn't correct in that. Second thing I was incorrect on, and I have not seen this yet, but apparently a lot of people have been telling me this, Antonio Brown's cover player is an 89 overall. Now I saw his base elite in, as an 89, and I just really highly doubted that the fact that you know his cover player, a free player, was going to be an 89 overall, but a lot of people have been telling me that, so I'm going to go ahead and say, okay... I guess his cover player is an 89 overall. Like goal for this video, guys. Can we smash 75 likes? Hit that like button down below if you want to go ahead and help us smash that goal. And comment down below, which of these players do you think will have the best year? Now, guys, we're going to be going ahead and looking at all 10 of these rookie premier players. And you see right here, we're going to start off with the left side linebacker for the Dallas Cowboys. And that is Elch. I don't know how to say his first name. Not even going to try to do that. Now, a lot of these players as you guys know, are going to go ahead and mimic to your rookie premier player. So these are the core rookies. These core rookies, whatever, you know, whenever you log into the game, you will have rookie premier player exactly like this core rookie, rookie if you completed the set. So all the stats will be exactly identical. Nothing will be different. And you can kind of go ahead and prepare your team with that in mind. Now, based on what I understand, based on what I'm seeing, there's a lot of get ways to get free elites day one. And that's really, really exciting because, yes, you have rookie premier players, which obviously if I I'm, will be playing Xbox, these players will be in my squad. But there's so many other ways to get elites that you're going to go ahead and have a really stacked team day one. Which, in previous years, I have not seen that too, too many times. So, I'm very excited for day one. Sam Donald, though, let's talk about him. So, he missed practice today. I'm not sure if it's an injury. I've not looked into the sources of what happened to him. But, let's just say, hypothetically, he doesn't start. Then, yes, his rookie premier call would be a waste. Um, but, I do believe he will start. Um, I have no idea what's wrong with him. If he is injured for the season, I feel really bad if you're a um, Jets fan. But other than that, though, I'm not sure what's going to happen with him. So this is uh, Ward, and this is 88 speed. He's going to be able to shut down anyone when it comes to just like a slot corner, uh, being a slot corner. The only issue is, though, 76 man, 71 zone, not too, too great. Um, there's a lot of 80 overall cards with 85 speed, a little bit less speed, but way better man in zone. We looked at them in my uh, budget squad video today, so it kind of does suck, but at the same time, you know, it is a rookie premier player. They're not going to give him these crazy juice stats day one. They don't want to just go ahead and ruin the game day one uh, for anyone who does not have rookie premier players. And finally, we have Derwin James, who today got robbed. So I don't think that's going to affect him on the field. But it's going to be interesting to see what ends up happening. Um, I'm not sure. Again, I did not look into that story. I'm just telling you that that's what I read on Twitter. So with that in mind, we have 83 speed, 75 man, 70 zone, and 74 press. So tell me down below your thoughts and opinions of this whole entire list of rookie premier players. Again, which of these players do you think will have the best year, or career year t this year? I'm going to go ahead and say, if I had to guess one, I would say Saquon Barkley, number one, is going to have the best year of any player. That's just my personal opinion, of course. Um, obviously, Hayden Hurst could have a great year because Joe Flacco loves his tight ends. Um, Quentin Nelson, he is offensive lineman, so him having a Rookie of the Year award or any kind of fantastic year like that probably won't happen, but it's, very, it's still kind of possible. Ward could lead the NFL in interceptions. He could literally be Marshawn Lattimore V2. We have no idea at the moment. And then Calvin Ridley, you know, he could have a great year. I mean, Julio Jones is right beside him. So obviously, there's going to be a lot of attention to Julio Jones, letting Calvin Ridley get a lot of one-on-one -on -one coverages. And if Calvin Ridley can be pretty decent, he could do very wonders in this league and definitely could have a really good career year. The only players I would say question marks at the moment would be Sam Donald. I think Derwin James, everyone's telling me that he's going to be a question mark. I have no idea why, but everyone's telling me that. And finally, I guess the only other one you could think of, um, I guess Calvin Ridley, just because, again, he is on the other side of Julio Jones. Julio Jones is going to get a lot of targets. 
Um, obviously, Matt Ryan's going to, they like to run the ball with Devontae Freeman and Calvin, oh, Calvin Ridley. And Telvin uh, Coleman. Telvin, why did they call him? Wait, is it Telvin Coleman? Okay, this is the first time I've ever gotten this incorrect. It's Telvin Coleman, right? Yeah, Telvin Coleman. Okay, good. I Oh, Tevin Coleman. Tevin, not Telvin. Tevin. I'm thinking about Tel. I'm, I try to combine Telvin Smith and Tevin Coleman. That that didn't work out. But nonetheless, though, I think that uh, with you know the offense and how the offense runs, it's going to be a little bit difficult for Calvin Ridley to really come in and be that star. But he should definitely have a great year. With that in mind, guys, let me know below your thoughts and opinions, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.